Play of City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming back at you from the parking lot here at the Whole Foods on the north side of Chicago. I put a question on the community tab the other day asking what kind of videos you want to see and a bunch of people said more mini hauls with recipes. And I love that idea because I can combine my two passions, shopping and cooking. So let's do a summer themed haul and recipe Go upstairs here at Whole Foods, get some really healthy ingredients to make a grilled chicken thigh and peanut noodle salad with uh, vegetables and herbs. Very, very simple, but very, very tasty. So before we go up to Whole Foods, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are really great, but there's a bell icon right below the video. You're gonna wanna enable all notifications because every week we have three live streams, three videos you do not wanna miss out. Okay, let's go do some shopping. We have entered the pasta aisle. Of course, we need a noodle to make our uh, peanut noodle and veggie salad. Now we're gluten-free, so I'm not gonna grab a traditional spaghetti pasta, but I will talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna live right here. I'm gonna live in the gluten-free pasta aisle. And actually, what I consider one of the best gluten-free pastas is at the very bottom here. It's made by Whole Foods. It's the organic red lentil spaghetti. What's so great about this is, look at the ingredients. It's one ingredient, organic red lentil flour. I love the texture of red lentil because it makes a great pasta substitute. It's al dente, it has a great flavor and texture. But see the word organic? Is that important when it comes to legumes? Yes, because legumes score high in glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. And if they're conventional beans or conventional wheat, hello pasta, they score high in glyphosate. So you really want to get organic. That being said, there's other choices here too, but you really have to read the ingredients because other spaghettis here like, here we go, bonza chickpea spaghetti. It, ingredient list is pretty decent, but it's not organic chickpeas. So it'd be a good second alternative, but you might be like, well, yeah, but look, this is organic here, organic quinoa pasta, but I'm gonna warn you something about, uh, about gluten-free products. Always get gluten-free whole grains. Avoid gluten-free bread and pastas made with white rice flour, corn starch, tapioca starch, potato starch. Those are all filler. Those are simple carbohydrates that will spike your blood pressure even more your blood sugars even more. So even though this says here, organic quinoa pasta, that's corn free. Look at the ingredients, my friends. The first ingredient is organic white rice flour, then quinoa, meaning there's more white rice flour in here than not. And then this one right next to it has corn and brown rice and quinoa. I would actually rather get the chickpea pasta instead of those. But to be honest, that one's the best down there. Um, if you're going to use a traditional noodle, you want to get organic because it's sprayed with glyphosates. I wouldn't necessarily go here. I would go over to the Asian aisle, actually, and they have like soba noodles and buckwheat noodles. That's the traditional way of making it. And I'm sure they have organic here at uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, right here. See, if you want a real traditional uh, noodle for our salad we're going to make, get these beautiful organic udon noodles. A great selection here. They have lots of things. They have uh, buckwheat there, soba. So either this or the uh, red lentil spaghetti, perfect, perfect uh, noodle for our salad. I feel like a lot of people sleep on this section right here. This is the Asian sauces and condiments and there's some amazing stuff here that I call flavor bombs. One of my new obsessions, if you watch the Flav City live streams, is gojujang. Now gojujang is a fermented uh, chili product from Korea. These guys make one of the cleanest ones you'll ever see. But a traditional gojujang, let's see if they have it here, is usually made with also soy. So this is gonna be a cleaner one because they have it here at Whole Foods. But traditional gojujangs will have some soybeans in there, like this one. It'll have gluten, like this wheat flour, and usually some added sugar. This one's not terrible, but traditional ones aren't the cleanest. These guys make the most amazing gojujang. I love this brand. Look at this, it's made with organic, chickpea miso that's great because traditional legumes oscar high in glyphosates it's sweetened with coconut crystals at the bottom that sounds like a walter white kind of thing right that's actually a crystallized coconut uh sap look at those ingredients this is what's called umame it's the japanese word for delicious we're going to use this in the marinade for the chicken we're going to use this in the peanut butter dressing for a little bit of funk this is fantastic and while you're here uh these guys also make a paleo teriyaki sauce with coconut aminos. Uh, if you're following along on the Flav City Instagram for the new uh, five ingredient cookbook we're putting the finishing touches on right now, 
I use this as a marinade and as a stir fry sauce. It is a, one of the best things in the grocery store that a lot of people don't know about. Little pricey, but the quality is top notch. And there's so many different sauces here. Like just for example, we don't really use traditional soy sauce at home because all soy sauce is made with wheat. It's part of the uh, making process for soy. We don't eat gluten at home. So you want to live right next to it. This is actually tamari sauce. Tamari is gluten free soy sauce and this is non GMO. Why do I love this? Because once again, it's a fermented soybean sauce, which offers funk flavor. Umame, I can't live without this in my pantry, and now I can't live without gojujang. Check them out, they're awesome. Man, if Art was here right now, he'd be jamming out to even better than the real thing by U2 playing right now. Uh, one of the benefits of shopping here at Whole Foods is they have next level yogurt options, stuff I really never find at like a Target. And if we need a yogurt sauce for the marinade and for the dressing, the peanut dressing, I'm gonna come down here to what I consider the best Bobby approved yogurts at the grocery store. Uh, this would be my first choice. This would be my second choice. Keep in mind, when you're talking yogurt, it's made from dairy. If you don't get organic, it's gonna be GMO fed cows. You don't want that. I'd rather you live with grass fed. Grass fed, 100% grass fed dairy never has any grains and has a higher nutritional profile than conventional dairy. For me, it's this one right here. This stony field is Greek style, 100% grass fed organic. What's so cool about this versus this one is this is Greek style. When it's Greek, it's strained. When you strain yogurt, you reduce the sugar from the lactose and you intensify the flavor and uh, there's more protein. It's a winner winner all day long. This is the best yogurt at the grocery store. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. If you can't find grass fed, go for organic and please go for full fat yogurt. See whole milk right there. When you're talking about a good saturated fat like that, that's where the omega-3 fatty acids, that's where a lot of the health benefits live. There's no reason to get low or no fat. Get full fat, at least organic, ideally grass fed, ideally this one right here. This is gonna be awesome in our recipe. Whoops. Chicken will be the star of the recipe today. Now, you can't find pasture raised chicken at any grocery store, which is a bummer. That being said, I'll just live in the organic section because it'll have a non-GMO feed. For my money, these Pine Manor organic, boneless, skinless chicken thighs are so tasty. And the beauty of cooking those instead of chicken breast, these have no fat. These are so easy to overcook. These give you more leeway. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these. And what I do sometimes is actually, I'll get the, where is it? I'll get the skin on bone on chicken thighs. Right here, I'll get these and I'll cook it with the skin on. I'll take it over to the butcher desk over there and I'll ask them to take the bone out. That way it's flat like this and it cooks quick, but the skin gets really, really crispy. We have a recipe in the keto meal prepping cookbook like that. And then you can save the bones and make stock or bone broth with it. So it's very economical and just ask the butchers. They're very happy to do it for you. If you only want half a head of cabbage or something from the produce section, ask the produce person, they'll cut it in a half for you. But these chicken thighs are delicious. Don't worry about the fat. It's a little more, but the flavor is so much better than chicken breast. I love the produce section here at Whole Foods. It's like my happy place. There's some really good deals here. And Amazon has been lowering the price on a lot of the produce, especially the kale right over yonder. Um, but for my noodle salad, I want to get some sugar snap peas and blister them and make them really sweet and charred. These are fantastic. Now you have a choice of organic stringless snap peas and non-organic with the string. I have bought these stringless ones. They're not nearly as sweet. And uh, these aren't on the Dirty Dozen. These are one of my favorite snacks. I often munch on them during live streams and it really bugs you guys because you can hear the ASMR experience. But these are sweet. They're crunchy. They're gonna go great in my uh, spaghetti noodle and peanut salad. And I would not not sleep on these at all because they're great and they're nutritious. We're gonna need peanut butter to make our peanut butter dressing for our noodle salad. Peanut butter is a little tricky. You always have to read the ingredients. Also, I would ideally get organic peanuts because they're legumes. They grow underground. They could be susceptible to chemicals and sprays. That being said, you might think this is like a premium brand here. And yes, it's organic. But if you read the ingredients here, it's got palm oil added and evaporated cane sugar. Those are two ingredients you never, ever, ever want to see in peanut butter. The palm oil actually kind of emulsifies the peanut butter so it doesn't separate too much like that. 
And why the heck would you add cane sugar? I really, really hate that because a lot of kids will eat this stuff and they don't need that crud in their body. Um, another word for palm oil would usually be uh, spread there. When it's spread, once again, it's emulsified like that. So I would just go for a, where is it? Like a normal organic peanut butter. There we go. So I would just go for something like this. Organic, creamy peanut butter, unsweetened, no salt. Read the ingredients, you're good to go. A lot of people always ask me where I get those little thin red finger peppers that I usually garnish with. It's here at Whole Foods. I assume you can get them at Asian markets too, but they always have them here. And the reason why I like these so much is that they're not that spicy and they're really colorful and great to garnish with. And I'll use it for our uh, noodle and peanut salad. All right, we got everything we need. Uh, let's go back to the kitchen. Art's gonna meet us there. We'll grill, we'll chill, we'll finish this video strong like bull. All right, family, Art is in the kitchen. Let's get rocking on the yogurt marinated grilled chicken thighs with a peanut noodle salad with veggies and herbs. But before we do, my friends over at Laird Superfood wanted to sponsor this video because they have some epic stuff in case you're going camping this summer, which I think a lot of people are because you don't want to go on like uh, international trips. You don't have to sacrifice your coffee game. They make InstaFuel. If you want to try what I consider the best instant coffee lattes on the market, this is it. You look at the ingredients, which I'll put up on the screen. We're talking coconut milk powder as the uh, creamer, the non-dairy creamer, high quality coffee, extra virgin coconut oil, and aquamine from calcium. They also make this in unsweetened, but because it has the coconut oil and milk, it's got all four MCTs. This stuff is fantastic. I uh, drink it every weekend with my keto pancakes. I can't get enough of this stuff. And if you want a shelf-stable portable uh, coconut water, their freeze-dried coconut water is not only delicious, it's economical. It comes out to like 80 cents a cup, but all it is is freeze-dried coconut water with Aquamin. And this one has turmeric in there, great for anti-inflammatory properties. And the cool thing about coconut water is it has uh, natural electrolytes in there. They got free shipping going on right now. I can't say enough good things about Laird uh, Superfood and their Insta Fuel. so check them out using my link down below. Okay, the first thing we have to do is marinate our beautiful organic boneless skinless chicken thighs. So to this bowl, let's add some yogurt. I've got that beautiful Greek style grass fed organic yogurt here. Then I'll scoop in the funk, the goju jang, a good heaping tablespoon. Squeeze in some lime juice. Add about a quarter teaspoon of salt and a few cracks of pepper. And then give that a nice mix up. You know what? I want another heap tablespoon of goju in there. Then I'll take my chicken thighs and just bury it in the marinade. We normally reserve trivia for live streams, but here's my trivia. I want you to pause the video and answer it down below. Because there's lime juice in this marinade and all those yummy flavors, would it be better to do a two hour marinade on this or a overnight marinade? Pause and answer down below. And for the answer, we go to one Mr. Arthur T. Almacy, not the first, not the second, but the third. Well, Bobby, I think I'm gonna have to say two hours. Two, because? Because the lime juice is kind of gonna cook the chicken. Exactly, think about ceviche. Ceviche cooks the fish. If you let this marinate too long, like overnight, you'll cook or ceviche the chicken and it ruins the texture. Thank you, Art. Back to you, Bobby. <laughs> All right, before we make the peanut dressing, I wanna drop my red lentil spaghetti. Okay, peanut dressing, really, really easy and using some of the same ingredients we used in the uh, marinade. So in my mini food chopper, let's add a good half a cup of the peanut butter, a couple teaspoons of the goju jing, a tablespoon of that grass-fed yogurt, a nice squeeze of lime juice, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a few cracks of black pepper. And then put about a quarter cup of water to start and buzz it up. This is kind of an eyeball recipe. You can see right now it's a little too thick. So I want to splash in a touch more water. You always want to think of the four flavor spectrums of sweet, salty, spicy, and sour. That has all of it, but I need a little more acid. All right, sour from the lime, sweet from the uh, peanut butter, salty and spicy from the goju jang. Really, really love it. So this is done. Bobby, did you just say that you consider peanut butter to be sweet? I did. 
I, I, I never have, just for the record. Because in my mind, I was thinking I was going to put maple syrup in there, but I want to keep this recipe super basic. But to amend my statement, because the accounting firm of Arthur T. Elmacy has caught me, for the sweet, we'll put a teaspoon or so of maple syrup. Now we got sweet, sour, salty, and spicy. There you are. You guys will be very happy to know that I did a deep clean of the grill last weekend. It was filthy, which means we won't have any more raging infernos coming from uh, old fireball here like we did uh, on that live stream. So grill is very, very hot. I'm gonna lubricate it with just a little bit of avocado oil spray. Do that very carefully. Salt the chicken and then lay it down. You don't want to rub all of the yogurt off, so I want it to form a crust with that, but don't have any big globs on there. And I'll cook that for about five minutes per side. All right, chicken is done. Let's get it off the grill and go back in the kitchen. And the last component for the uh, noodle salad will be some uh, blistered snap peas in a hot nonstick pan with some avocado oil. And just cook them for about five minutes until they have nice char marks all over there, but still have a little bit of crunch left. Let's add the red lentil pasta, along with a pinch of salt, a squeeze of lime juice just to season the noodles. And we'll pour over the peanut sauce, saving some for later. And then I also wanna put just a little bit of that pasta water in there to help thin out the sauce and make it nice and silky. I add some of those green onions. Chop up that red chili I got. Let's plate some of those peanut noodles and slice some of those yogurt marinated thighs. A little more peanut sauce and some more chilies and green onions. There it is, you guys. Lunch is served. Then perfect for the summer and perfect eating cold the next day. Wow. My mouth just came alive. The flavors are so vibrant. The acidity from the lime juice. Chicken has that charred flavor, but the peanut dressing is the bomb. You can pour that over anything. It'd be delicious. Wow, well, Art, get in here and try this. Take it my own plate because the noodles are falling out of your mouth into that. Wow, Art won't share the plate with me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> is that a chili seed? <laughs> is there a red finger pepper seed in there? <laughs> I think there is. I don't know how that happened though. Given all the Oh, hello! Did I do that? <laughs> Not so easy, hotshot, huh? Making your mouth come alive is a good way to describe it. Thank you. Did you say there's a party in your mouth and everyone's invited? Something like that. <laughs> mm. It's fire, guys. Recipe is down below. I really like these mini haul and recipes. So if you want to see more of these, especially for the summer, leave comments down below. Uh, check out the Laird Superfood Insta Fuel and the Hydrate. Oh, that shit is making me spicy. This stuff is gangbusters. My link is down below. Um, that's it. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing like a rocket is by you spreading that love to your friends and fam. Art and I got two more videos below us right now, but we will see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. This is so good. Gotta get Desi in here for lunch.